Hello everyone and welcome to my rig. Usually I'm over there but now I'm in my rig so I need to show you my settings on Assetto Corsa Competizione. This is the fifth and final episode of the Getting Faster on Assetto Corsa Competizione series. If you saw my community post on YouTube you would have seen there was meant to be a car set up in depth episode but there's so much info it's better off I do a separate series on setups in this game. Cramming it all into a 20 minute video it just wouldn't work not as many people were going to see it and uh, it wouldn't let me be as in depth as I'd want to be so we're just going to show you my settings everything in the game and then you know that might help you in a few areas where you think do I run the right settings or not well hopefully this video answers that and yeah as I say later in the year we'll look at the setups but let's get started so main menu there's a few of these we don't need to really venture into so championship don't need to look at that career we don't single player nope special events nope driver you don't really need to look at at all um but look how cool that looks there's uh triplets so that's pretty mad the main one then options video settings let's start with the video settings so full screen always runs a bit smoother uh 1920 by 1080 usually i'm running 3440 by 1440 but uh for this video i thought i'd make it in this resolution because it looks better uh, V-Sync off, otherwise you can get a bit of wheel delay if you have that on. I don't really get the screen tearing anyway. Frame rate limit off, I always find that helps. Uh, if you're streaming and you find that you do get a few screen freezes, you could limit it to something like 100. But um, menu frame rate limiter doesn't really matter. Triple screen, HDR output. And then, so this is my replay video settings uh, file. So everything's on Epic to make it look nice for the videos. Uh, I'm just going to scroll through so you can see them. You may want to use that if you're making videos, but ultimately I use this for racing. So 100% and then you can see everything instead of Epic, it's on high, low, medium. A few things are disabled. I won't explain every setting in detail because it would, it would make for quite a boring video, but I'm just going to scroll through so you can see exactly what's enabled, what's on what value. And I do have one for VR. So I've got Oculus Rift, not the S. I've just got the normal Oculus Rift. So if you are interested, take a little look at these. 90 uh, FPS frame limit, frame rate limit. Um, a few of these are different as well. So if you do have VR, give them a try. I always found that this is good. Uh, I was using these settings to practice for real life last year when I was using VR. So give them a bash, see what you think. And there you go, so that's all my video settings. Let's go to audio. Very simple really, everything's default apart from the master volume because I don't know why, but it's so loud. So I've had to turn it down to 5% and even then it's, it's quite loud. Controls, it's quite a crucial one. So mapping your axis correctly is very easy. 54% gain, so I've got a SimCube 2 Sport, so that's a, a nice value for me to be able to do endurance racing without my arms tiring out or anything. Minimum force zero, 50% dan dynamic damping. Now, in the first video I said for Fanatec wheels, I ran this on zero. I've done a bit of testing since, and I think 50 is definitely better than zero. So just something to note. Road effects 30, that's on 333. McLaren has 480 degrees of steering lock or the rotation angle. So if you have, if you run a different car, you might want to run a different angle there. Linearity one, gamma uh, one, gear shift debouncing 50, manufacturer extras enabled. And then obviously you've got your different, your buttons, your map, very simple stuff. I'll, I'll show you, but it doesn't really make any difference because it's all down to personal preference at the end of the day. There's no OP button or anything like that quite a few buttons to be fair but and a lot of them are not mapped so don't feel like you need to go and map every button it's just it's, it's all about keeping it simple and only mapping what you need you know the bare necessities you don't really need to start over complicating it that's when it starts to go a bit pear-shaped but uh, that's controls done so general English all of these so I I do always save the replays and I've got it on the maximum setting. So if there is a good race or, you know, it just leaves me, it gives me a chance to make a video from a race if it's a good race. So if it's not a good race and, uh, you know, it does take up quite a bit of memory. So after the race, I'll just delete the file and uh, carry on. 
but you can see there those are the settings on the general tab assists gearbox manual auto clutch on for pit stops primarily to make it easier everything else manual and off onto the hud so as you can see there a few things it's not default at all i've definitely tailored it to what i like um a few things i i really like are the circuit map on full because you can see where cars are on the whole track which is really useful in quali i've got the delta off as well because i find it quite distracting if you're on a quali lap and in your peripheral in the top left it, it's flickering from red to green so i, I turned that off and it really helped those are those settings and that is that's the bulk of it that's what the options are in the gallery obviously all the save replays and the replays i and highlights as well auto saved replays as well if we go into single player then there's one more thing i want to show you and that's my view settings so i see a lot of questions what's your field of view all that stuff so i'm going to show you and this is obviously only for the mclaren because I don't really drive any other cars in this game, to be honest, at the moment anyway. So if we escape, view settings, and you can see it's quite a bit different from default. Um, and you've got to bear in mind, this video won't show it, but I'm on a widescreen monitor. So a lot of people say you're sat quite high up. It's because in this rig, it's quite low. My monitor's quite high. So this makes sure the track is, is on the same center line as my eye line. So, I know it probably doesn't make sense in the video, but to me, it's as realistic as I can get it. So those are my view settings. And I did have a think about this before the video, but I think that's kind of it. Apart from showing you setups and stuff, which as I say, we're gonna make a separate series for that. I think that is pretty much everything you need to know on a set of course competizione. So I hope the series as a whole helped. I know this video has been a bit different to the others where I, I've not really spoke to the camera as such i've just i've shown you what i've got in game i thought it'd be, it might be quite helpful i think i've covered everything which is good and uh as i say i hope it helps so do uh leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it or you found it helpful leave some comments if you've got any questions let me know uh, i might have missed something i don't think i have but i will try and let you know or give you an answer and uh yeah sub up to the channel as always massively appreciated but thank you for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.